Hello, welcome to another Creature tutorial. This tutorial is about freeform deformation and your mesh authoring options in Creature. So before we begin, I'm going to actually start by talking about the new Creature update. The new Creature update now allows you to actually author custom polygonal meshes, which I will cover, and also actually manipulate meshes directly on their vert vertices if you choose to do so. So without further ado, let's start with mesh authoring options. As you know, in Creature, we can create a uniform or rectangular grid out of a character. And this is actually probably the most stable and easiest to use mesh. And as you know, you can also do sculpting and you can also specifically region remesh. I can, I can go in here and I can put in like a new resolution for the character, in which case it changes, see, it changes the uniform mesh resolution. Very useful stuff. However, what if you wanted to make your own custom meshes? You will have specific needs that don't fall into the realms of a uniform mesh. What do you do? Well, I'm glad to say with the new update, you can now actually author your own polygonal mesh as well. So what do you do? First things first, you, can, you should delete away the current mesh by moving your mouse over to the remove mesh button. So delete that. So there's no mesh anymore. And then what you do next is you move your mouse over here to custom polygon mesh. Click on that and it says create new custom polygonal mesh. So click on that. And then what you do very simply just draw the outline of your custom mesh. Very simple. So I'm going to draw the outline for the character over here. Okay, and then you close it. And there, there you're done. This is your custom polygonal mesh. You can, of course, add points to it by holding down shift and clicking, say, in the center of the triangle. Or if you hold down shift and click on the edge, you split the edge. Very simple stuff, right? So you can see how easy it is to actually author your custom meshes custom polygonal meshes of any shape you want in Creature. So very, very useful, very powerful feature. And of course, you can also remove points, hold down a control key. And then if I click here, it removes the points there. So very simple, I can remove points here as well. And I can split them as well. So between deletion and removal, you have all the operations you need for authoring custom polygonal meshes in Creature. Once you're done with it, press back and it's created. Okay, so now we're in rigging mode. I'm just going to add in the mesh we created, this custom polygonal mesh, and put it, drop it into the scene. I've already constructed a set of bones actually for this character. So I'm just going to use the current rig. And this is actually one of the samples from the samples page with all the rig and bone motors set up, all the physics and, and move bounds motors set up. So I'm not going to repeat uh, the previous tutorial, but just take note that the animation has already been set up for this rig. We're demonstrating mesh deformation here, not the animation. Okay, so I'm going to use the same rig and I will then go in and just apply to all, do auto, auto weighting for once to, to make it come alive, to, to weight the bones. Now let's go into animate mode. And so we have your character here. Okay, so today we are talking about actually using freeform deformation or mesh def uh, deformation on this character. So I'm going to remove clear all the animation from from this the scene. And I'm just going to focus on the mesh motors. So let's see what your options are. You click on the character and click install motor. Now, as you know, there is the cage motor. So let's try that first. So this allows you to deform the character on the boundaries. You can animate and deform on the boundaries. Quite useful if that's what you're doing. If you're actually animating and you know across over time, I can actually pull the points over time to deform it along the boundary. If that's what you you care about. Okay, so that's the cage motor. So that's the first option. Okay, the second option that you're also probably familiar with is, is the control points motor. So if we click on that, and what that allows you to do is you can actually add control points. You can add two like any number of control points actually on on your mesh, right? So I'm just going to do a really, really simplified um, case just to demonstrate what it does. I'm having two control points here, really large ones, and they capture the points in on the polygon mesh that you have. So when you go to the animate mode, animate mode, you can see I can actually drag the, the regions of influence that the control points target, right? So you can actually do mesh deformation 
preform mesh deformation using control points. And you can do different operations. You can scale as well. You can scale the regions of influence. You can also rotate, right? You can do kinds of sh cool sharing, rotation, distortion operations just with the control point motors. And of course, you animate these over time, right? It's quite powerful. Uh, I can scale this up as well, like this, like so. Right, it's pretty cool. Okay, so that is the control point motor. And then, then moving on, now we're getting to you know direct manipulation, almost to the part of uh, direct manipulation for freeform deformation. We have the grid motor. So this is the next step. So in the grid motor, it gives you overlays like a uniform grid on top of your character. And of course, you can change the grid, grid resolution. Right, you can change the grid resolution to be how detailed you want it to be, however however detailed you want it to be. And you just click Create Grid to create a new grid, and you can group select points, which will then allow you to, as you manipulate them, you drag them, drag them along, you also deform the mesh, again, over, you animate that over time. Right, So it's very useful if you want to do any kind of pseudo head-turning fake 3D effect. So that's done with, with the mesh grid motor. Okay, so these are things that you're you know probably familiar with. Let's move on to the new addition, the new update, which is the poly motor. So this, when used in conjunction with your custom po polygonal mesh, like let's go back and take a look. Remember we had our custom polygonal mesh. What if you wanted to directly manipulate the points? You just directly wanted to have direct access, manual access, direct access to the points, and directly drag those vertices vertices around. Well, now you can. So you go in there, install your poly motor, and click edit motor. And so now, let me. You can actually tune the size of the widgets, the, the nodes. Okay. So now you can. You see here is your actual polygonal mesh, which you tessellated yourself. And of course, you can now actually drag them around directly. So this gives you direct manipulation of polygonal points on your tessellated creature character mesh. I think it's a very powerful feature. So now you have all the mesh deformation options available in creature actually. You can use the cage motor to mani manipulate the boundary itself. You can use the control points to actually put custom control points and apply different transformation operations to distort your mesh. You can use the grid, the grid motor to you know, overlay a uniform grid to animate and do freeform deformation, or if you want direct access, actual FFD with none of those special handles, you can actually just use the poly motor to directly manipulate points on your polygonal mesh. So all the options are on the table right now for Creature. You have every single option available for freeform deformation. I hope you guys appreciate that, because this means the entire arsenal of freeform deformation tools is now at your disposal in Creature. You, you can have direct access, manual access, high-level access, high-level controls, it's all there. And this coupled with the animation controller should give you a lot of flexibility in terms of what you want to do. So that basically concludes this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed watching it, and I hope it was a very inf informative tutorial. It gives you a, a complete overview of all your mesh deformation options in Creature, and that includes high-level controls and low-level controls as well. So thanks for watching, and happy animating.